Welcome back to my channel, guys. If you've never been here before, bienvenidos. This is where we discuss all things fit, workout tutorials, life hacks, cute random things, little bits of my life. It's cool and you learn things. If not, you know, peace and blessings to you. I want to show you guys how I'm getting lean and toning up and just looking uh, quote unquote shredded for summer. Last year when I started my channel, I started with a series called Summer is Coming. I got really lean. I, I look back and I was like, oh my God, this girl was small. Purpose of when I'm trying to get lean is to not starve myself, make sure I'm still eating enough, um, and make sure that my my activity is, if anything, it's the same or it's even more active. I think I, re I tend to rely more on the physical activity part of getting lean rather than having a super intensely strict diet. You cannot work a bad diet. I'm not saying that you can eat like shit and then just work out a lot. For me, that's not possible. I, I have to have some sort of process and routine in place when it comes to my food. When I'm on a cut, I am sticking to 80-20, like pretty religiously. During the week, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, I am super uh, routine with my food. So I'm eating the same stuff. When it comes to the weekend, usually breakfast and lunch, I'm doing the same thing because I'm at home. Because I'm sticking to just like a normal eating routine throughout the week, if I want to like indulge in something on the weekend, it's not the end of the world. I have a video I did on how to understand food. It's going to be at the top of the screen. Watch it. There is a sheet on there that I include in the description that has a ton of foods that you can do to incorporate. It's all in moderation. Like I'm not a believer in cutting out things out of your diet. I believe in having a healthy relationship with food. If you want to eat something, eat it. Workout wise, I box at least three times a week. Um, I train really hard when it comes to boxing. Uh, that itself is its own feat in conditioning. I do still do like circuit training, which is like kind of like a mild form of CrossFit. It's just been really endurance based and conditioning. My workouts are explosive. They are compound movements and I use weights. I make sure that when I train, I'm training smart. I want the most productive 45 to an hour of training. Another big thing is sleep, making sure that there is enough recovery time. This is something that I have worked really hard to maintain, is getting like eight hours of sleep every night. I'm gonna show you guys some of the workouts I've been doing, just kind of highlighting some things that I do to get lean, and then I'll show my progress. The end. Okay guys, so for my boxing workouts, they're pretty straightforward. I always warm up a jump roping. I try to always keep my feet moving forwards, backwards, do a little dance here and there. Um, usually takes me about five minutes to warm up. Really just trying to get my heart rate up before I start um, getting into mitt work. Uh, then I do like weighted shadow boxing, uh, two minute rounds with the weights, and then I'll do one minute without the weights, and usually do that for about two rounds. Um, this is just like, again, warming up, kind of getting in the groove of things, um, getting in the zone actually, uh, making sure that I'm just practicing moving around a lot, um, practicing combinations, and just what it would be like to get, you know, in the ring, I guess. Uh, once I'm done with that takes about like, you know, 15 minutes. Then I'm doing pad work. Usually I do 10 or 12 three minute rounds. Um, lately I've been doing like eight three minute rounds. Um, pad work for a few minutes at a time is just like, holy shit, you're dying and out of breath. So some rounds are really hard, some rounds are really good, some rounds are not my best, but the purpose is to keep moving and to try and get second wins throughout my rounds. Um, three minutes is definitely a long time, um, but the best part about taking like boxing classes too is when I take them, I'm able to practice my endurance when I hold mitts for people or when I'm hitting the bag. Um, and then when I'm ending my workout, I'm just doing like a hit circuit. So again, explosive movements, 
Um, I don't know why, but much love to my boxing coach, but she loves medicine balls and I literally hate them. Um, they're so hard, but they definitely keep my butt in shape and, uh, lots of plyo stuff. Um, and it's funny because a lot of this stuff seems like really simple, but after so many rounds doing mitts, you're totally out of breath and dying. Um, and then I always finish with core, um, either with a medicine ball or a kettlebell and um, just doing like sets of 10 to 20, a couple rounds, um, maybe anywhere from like two to three, um, but really just making sure that I'm finishing with core because a lot of boxing, oddly enough, you have to have core strength and I have none of it. So I'm always trying to work on my core. Um, my form is always like so terrible when I do this stuff, but you know, we out here learning. Okay, moving on to my circuit training. I usually do this about two to three times a week. Usually I do it with my boyfriend, which is always nice. We'll work out together, but this time I did it on my own. So I'm starting with the Tabata workout, which is 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds off. First exercise is burpees. I personally just like to get right into it. Um, all body weight, no weights for Tabata. Um, so 20 seconds of burpees, and then I'm taking a 10 second break, and I'm just catching my breath, and then I'm moving on to the next exercise, which is gonna be jumping lunges. I do a lot of plyo stuff. It's really good for conditioning. It's explosive movements. Um, so again, 20 seconds on here, and then I'm taking another break. Once that break's over, moving into the next exercise, which is toe taps. I've actually never done these before. I saw them in a, on an Instagram video, and I was like, I'm going to try these today. Um, they were awesome. The person I watched do them did them really fast, so I'd like to get my speed up there. After another 10 second break, going to do V-ups. Um, I really apologize, my form is interesting to say the least. But you know what, I felt the burn and that's all that matters. Last 10 second break and then I'm going into my last uh, exercise which is going to be sit outs. I love sit outs, they are so good. I just learned them. So you're gonna do that for five rounds. Then I'm gonna move into my circuit which is 12 reps, 10 reps, eight reps, six reps, and four reps of four different movements in between each round I'm doing 20 double unders so the first exercise is going to be dumbbell snatches um, these are a hang snatch if you don't know how to do these no worries you can literally just do a single arm shoulder press um, so it will be 12 each side 10 each side 8 each side so on and so forth the next movement is going to be single arm kettlebell swings y'all know me I love single arm movements single leg movements these are great for core engagement, so just making sure you keep that core tight. Next movement I'm doing is, again, something I've never tried before. I saw it on Instagram, figured I'd try it. I love it. It burns. Um, these are banded sprints, um, so 12, 10, 8 uh, times you're, you're going back and forth. Uh, keep your knees as high as you can. I know you're going to get fatigue. Pump your arms. I honestly completely love this movement. Next is dreaded dumbbell lunges. You can hold them by your side or you can hold them like I am right now. But again, that's 12 each side, 10 each side, eight each side. Um, you can go forward if you wanna walk. Um, don't do back, go forward. Forward walking lunges or forward lunges. And then you're gonna finish every round with 20 double unders. I know my double unders are super cute. Don't even talk to me about it. If you can't do double unders, do 100 skips. Double unders for me aren't really a recovery because I'm still trying to get better at them. But if you can't do them, use that 100 skips as a recovery. Try to keep a good pace. So that workout was the 20 minutes. I burned 175 calories. 178 was my max. I didn't do my Tabata one. I forgot to do on this. But 20 minutes, took some breaks here and there, which is constant movement. About a few weeks ago, I was like 145 pounds and then like was fluctuating down to like 142, 140. Um, when I started Whole30 about two weeks ago, I was like 138. And right now on a heavy day, I'm about 136. And on a light day, I'm 134. So my body has definitely been uh, seeing like a healthy sense of weight loss at 145 then 
and now I'm about like one, we'll say 36. So that's like nine pounds, so a pound a week. That is what you call a healthy cut.